Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make my rubbing tools. And I call these crayon pucks because they look like a hockey puck. They're about the same size. Um, what I do is I use crayon pieces, a silicone cupcake baking tray, and here's one I have here that's round, and I use a cookie sheet and some aluminum foil. And I also use some oil pastels mixed in. You can use solid oil pastels if you'd like. You can use all crayon if you'd like. Or you can use a combination of crayon and oil pastels. The recipe I kind of like is about a third of an oil pastel and the rest crayon. That gives it a nice consistency for the kids to do their rubbings with. You can also use these as just straight crayons too, or straight oil pastel if you make straight oil pastel with them. So that's up to you how you want to combine them. Your color combinations are also up to you. This one is all the warm colors. This is all the families of green and a little bit of white. This one's all basically just orange. And this one's kind of, most of these are a smorgasbord of all the colors. What I do find is that I do like to use the Crayola crayons the best. What happens is if I throw in some of the inexpensive crayons and all those different other brands besides Crayola, um, I end up with some extra residue of wax and it's kind of a muddied brown wax that settles on the top which isn't bad for this because all the other crayon settles on the bottom but sometimes the kids get confused and want to rub with this side and then they can't see it. If you're going to paint over it and do a resist it would be okay but it prevents the kids from seeing what they're actually going to what they're coloring with and so that makes it more difficult. Um, but I just tell them to use the cut side that has more of the color on it. Um, so if you want to prevent that from happening, you can see on these here, this is solid color crayon on both sides. Uh, I kind of keep those colors out of my piles. Sometimes when I get used crayons, a lot of people donate crayons to the art room. Um, it's a potluck of every color crayon. And so a little bit mixed in here there won't hurt too much. Uh, but I do try and not use those crayons. So if you're doing it at home, the Crayola is the best. Um, you can, like I said, mix in the oil pastels. What the oil pastel does is it just makes the puck a little bit softer for young children to do their rubbings. Sometimes when it's they have to use more of the muscles in it and they don't have that muscle strength in their hands or fingers and they can't rub it as well. The oil pastel just helps them a little bit. Um, if you use solid oil pastel, um, the reason I don't like that as much is it's very, very soft and my crayon pucks uh, get used up very, very quickly. So when you blend in some of the um, crayon with the oil pastel, it helps uh, make these last longer. Some of the crayon pucks like this one I've had for like six or six, probably six, six, seven years, and they're still going. Um, when you actually make this, what you do is you would choose your color combinations that you'd like, and this is just a random color combination here, and you would make a mountain in the center. So the edges would be flush with or close to flush with the cookie tray here, or the cupcake tray, and then the centers kind of pile, you pile uh, higher up here. And I'm probably up at least a half inch from here. It's kind of hard to see the perspective, and I really can't tip it. You can kind of see if I tip it, hold it and tip it. So it's piled up pretty high. What happens is, is after you cook this, if you don't pile it up high, you'll end up with a, crayon puck that is pretty thin like this one and this just breaks easy for the kids and then it wears down very fast as well you can see on the back here oh this had some inexpensive crayons so what I do is when you pile it up really high you'll end up with a crayon puck and I'll turn it to the side so you can see it about that thick 
So it's going to go down a little bit because what's happening is, is the crayon is taking up all the space, the air space in between. So it settles down flat and it, that kind of makes sense. So pile it up real high if you want a nice thick crayon puck like this one. And this one just has a little bit of yellow in it here, but it's basically uh, my values of blue. Nice dark blue here. Um, so once you have it piled up high and it's, and it's on the actual cookie sheet with the aluminum foil underneath, because uh, the overflow, if it flows over, like you can see here how it's flowing over and flowing over, if it flows over, um, then what happens is it's gonna ruin that cookie sheet. So make sure you line it with aluminum foil. It will ruin um, the, the cupcake containers though. So I could not, as you can see here, some of the colors are staining these silicone molds. I cannot use this for food again, or at least I wouldn't use this for food again. So um, you can purchase these inexpensive ones. I, I think I paid like three or $4 for this one at Valentine's Day at Target. So this was not very expensive and then I just use these for uh, wax melting. Now, wax melts at a temperature right around 100 degrees. Um, so if you can set your oven just a little bit higher than that, or put it, depending on your oven, or put it on your lowest, lowest setting. And what I do is I just check it every five minutes and you'll watch it as it goes down. And once they're all melted, melted smooth, then um, either you can shut off the oven and leave them in the oven and let them cool that way or you can just carefully lift that tray out because you don't want the wax to spill in your in your oven carefully lift the tray out and then just let it cool on a counter um, you don't want to make sure you're not setting that oven on very high because this wax will burn and it does leave a little smelly residue left in your oven um, so you want to be cautious of that. Say if you're using it at a friend's house or you're using it in the school oven, it could give a, get a little smoky depending on how high you're setting that oven on or how, how low you can set the temperature. It's a little bit around, a little bit over a hundred will start melting this quickly. Um, uh, and you want to do it every five minutes, just check to see when they're melted. And the time varies depending on how thick you place this and how high you place this up. Because if you put only a few in, it's gonna melt in just a few minutes. But that's basically how I make my crayon rubbing pucks.